welcome back guys today we are going to talk about iframes and frames uh, with protractor so what we are going to say is how to handle frames and how to switch inside the frames and how to switch out uh, switch to the outside of the frame or how to switch inner frames and how to switch back to the page level so these are the things we are going to see today in this video so without any delay let's start this tutorial So as usual, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and share if possible. Okay, that's it. And you can leave a comment if you want to know anything or if you want to, if you want me to create any video on any topic on Protractor. Okay, so let's start with the iframes. So basically, uh, we are going to uh, talk about these topics. Okay, it's uh, because I will uh, forget all these topics. That's why I have written it. Okay, so first of all what is a frame any idea so if you have not have any idea or if you have any idea which is fine in both the cases uh, let me explain like what is i frame and a frame so frame is something like <coughs> consider like for this uh, example i'm going to use this web page it's in our uh, website itself you can find this uh, url in the description which is uh church.tech slash practice slash frames iphone example iphone selenium iphone web driver it's pretty long but obviously you can click it in the description <coughs> so basically a frame is something like a kind of a television you can think so it's a tv so what a tv does is like whatever happens somewhere it can showcase you that in your house right that's what the tv purpose is similar to that one iframe is a thing which can showcase uh, some xyz website on your web page or on some particular web page so that is the use of high frame iframe not only showcases some other part sometimes you can use your own web pages see i have uh, built couple of uh, frames in here like it has uh, three levels of frames so what happens is like in this one you have a topic in one frame and this topic in another frame and this inner frame check boxes in another frame and this animal in another frame so uh, you may think like what is frame what is frame what is frame uh, let me showcase uh, my local folder okay so how it works is see here if you see uh, let me open frames examples so this is the frames example iphone selenium web driver so guys uh, this is something which is present in my local system okay so how a website is created is you will put this local system into some server in unix server or cloud servers so which when you try to access that file it will be rendered as html okay so if i open it one this one so it will open something like a file slash or something see you can see the same model here right see um not this one in let me close all these things okay here we have in uh i have opened it in a chrome so the same thing i have opened it in firefox okay so this is the frame a uh, web page with multiple frames let me uh, open it with the uh some editor okay i use uh, notepad plus plus much presently so so this is the web page html okay you don't worry, have to worry about all those things but only things you have to worry about is here okay so what i did is like i have given a not a friendly topic okay a really friends is not a friendly topic okay this one right so after that i have given one more frame called a okay some text i have given you can ignore the text which is has id as frame one and which has frames.html as the source okay so what i am trying to do is like i am trying to render this frames.html file into this file uh, so which is basically this part okay this part is a uh, this one what do you call frames.html okay that is the first part and a second one we are uh, uh, using one more frame okay 
which is uh, has the id as a frame 2 and the source is drop down hyphen frame dot html in uh, our web page this is the second frame but uh, let's see it in uh, actually in uh, thing okay first one is frames dot html right this is the file okay now let me open this one do you get a topic and the text bar and after that inner frame uh, checkbox okay so here if you see so first we had not a friendly topic after that we had a frames dot html and then drop down uh, drop downs dot html <coughs> so in the first one whatever we see here topic inner frame right the same thing is available in this one the file name is frames dot html so let's open this frames dot html again okay in a editor so that we can see what's the content present in there so this file has a little bit of content which says like first as a topic okay so the topic you can see it here okay and uh, with uh, along with the uh, input value so which basically forms a text bar okay sorry it got a uh, little me uh, list of font so the second one is i have as another frame which has id as a frame 3 but the source code here we are rendering is checkbox.html so to get this particular checkbox i am rendering it from another file okay let me showcase it so where is it this is not the one because yeah drop down.html right so checkbox.html so let me open this one so it says like inner frame checkbox and we got the checkbox which is nothing but this particular thing if you are still confused or if you still don't believe it how uh, how the hell it works let me add some other thing now we have here inner frame checkbox right let me add like uh, something like consider explaining or something like uh, paragraph i am using explaining frames in video okay so i have added this text okay so in this checkbox we are not calling anywhere but inside the frames we are calling this checkbox.html in the file right so again from the frames iphone example iphone selenium web driver here we are calling this frames okay now as i said so this is the one which is present in my local machine the moment i refresh now i should get that particular text that we have added in that particular uh, notepad plus plus let's see see here you can see explaining frames in video which is same as whatever we entered here right so i'll remove it i removed it it's not required so in this file is able to showcase this frames and this frames is able to showcase this checkbox.html okay so it's not something uh, limited like you can show only one frame or two frames or more frames so you can basically show n number of frames in your html pages or in dot php pages or whatever the extension you use for a web page okay so let's go to our actual website so <coughs> so this is the actual thing and uh, in this one we are going to perform all the operations okay so now what happens if i try to find this particular topic or this particular checkbox or this inner frame checkbox okay shall we try to find so most of the people will think like how can i uh, see a frame or i frame okay so i'll explain that one but before that so far we were explaining i frame okay so what is a frame right because uh, the video title might be saying like iframe versus frame right so the iframe so far we have discussed like it will be used to showcase okay it will be used to showcase external pages along with your internal pages okay so when it comes for frames what it does is like it will showcase the parts of your web pages like 
so far i have showcased like three files right which are internal okay internal files so only internal files you can show with frames okay so iframes will be helpful to showcase other files as well as the your files but frames are only helpful to showcase uh, files from your domain okay or you can call it as your files so this is the difference between frames and iframes and uh, uh frames is almost dead no one uses the frames now because uh, people are able to uh, use uh, divisions using uh, css they are able to form uh, good uh, what good um, uh, divisions in a web page so that it will showcase different parts so now no one uses uh, frames but most of the people uses iframes but it is very less and as per the standards it is not good to use iframes or frames okay so uh, i guess i have explained a little bit on uh, iframes and frames so here after i am going to discuss on i only on iframes okay not on frames so if i uh, interchange the word like iframe and frame it entirely means only iframe not frame okay so so let's uh, check how a frame is present so when you open a web page and if you try to right click on the anywhere in the web page you might get these options right back reload or uh, some custom options based on your applications or if you have overridden or right click so let's click on the inside the iframe this i am not sure like whether it has iframe or not but let's try see at the end you can see like uh, three options like view page source view frame and reload frame okay so here it means iframes only but uh, yeah so these are the two options will say like whether the element is inside the frame or not because most of the time what we do is like we right click somewhere okay and we will open the dev tools now i'll directly inspect this particular checkbox and i'll try to find this html code and i'll with the expertise of uh, xpath or css we try to write it and it works fine here but when you put it in your code it will not work you know why because this particular checkbox is not actually present in this particular page it is present in some other page but it is showcased on this particular page okay so if you have seen like um, a total reflection there is a scientific term called total reflection so sometimes what you see is a water kind of water body kind of a thing on the sun but you there is no water it's something like that the checkbox you might see the checkbox here but when you inspect the source code you will not have the source code okay so but most of the time when you inspect here you might see the html code here but when you go little up and up you might see this iframe okay so whenever it says like hash document it means like it's a new file okay so this is this uh, this frame has id as frame 3 so similarly we have uh, one more frame here frame 1 okay which has some um, id as frame 1 <coughs> and then the page okay so this one and the topic are present in a page level and the topic with the text body is present in a level 2 and inner text frame checkbox present in level 3 and as well as this animals is present in level 1 okay inside the page so i hope you understood a little bit on the things so let me remove this frames versus iframes now i showcase the presence of the frames right click and check like whether there is option for frame and finding an iframe finding an iframe is not that much difficult just right click and inspect on the page level not on the frame level and uh, try to hit ctrl f i hope you guys know like how to inspect the element in uh, uh, chrome right you just need to right click and inspect and click in this particular html code and press ctrl f okay you have to click on this html then you have to press ctrl f otherwise what happens is like what most of the people will do is like they will come here 
okay and they will press control f what happens is like it the finder comes in the page level but we don't want to have a finder on page level we just want to have a finder on html level. so click on the html code and press control f now we have so we can go with the frame right so we can use tag name but we cannot explicitly say tag name so let's go with the xpath double slash f r a m e we don't see anything see sorry it's not a frame it's iframe right so i have found it with iframe i'm sorry about it so we can see little of iframes okay so this way you can identify whether an iframe is present or not so as i have given double slashes which means like anywhere iframe is present it will showcase it okay so the same thing if you want to find it in a css just you need to put iframe that's it it will find what yeah it will find all the iframes okay wherever the, you have used the word iframe okay now let's go to our uh, vs code uh, for this example i'm using vs code which is a freeware you can use it as well as so we want to open a page which is this one right copy it but uh, before that i want to set a little bit of thing called implicit weight so what is implicit weight you want me to tell no i'm not going to tell what it is so you guys have to find out what implicit weight is if you do not know it by this time you people must be knowing so the implicit weight accepts in milliseconds so let me give like 30 seconds okay 30 seconds and this the triple zero is a millisecond so basically it's a 30 seconds <clears throat> so how will you open a web page in product you have to use browser command browser dot get okay I have pasted the URL now what we what we are trying to do is we want to get this particular topic not a friendly topic okay so let's see how we can find this particular not friendly topic okay we have something called table okay let's try with label double slash label we got it but we want to find this particular not friendly topic so the span is present inside the label so add a slash span okay now we are able to find not a friendly topic now let's use the same thing in our vs code so uh, instead of uh, in protractor actually you can find the elements using element command element of by dot xpath you people might think like uh karthik uh, it is okay but uh, most of the protractor people says like don't use xpath so why you are uh, using xpath why you are not using css it doesn't matter to me actually because if html changes whether it's a css or tag name or xpath anything is going to fail right <laughs> that's true the only benefit is like when you are executing an ie uh, the css will be a bit faster nothing else okay so as of now i'm going to run it on uh, chrome so i'll be using xpath okay now dot get text we got the text now but i hope you guys remember the promise video i have made that okay whenever you try to retrieve something from the protractor it returns a promise so you have to resolve it using a then block okay so then block on function so if you want to get the text you want to store it somewhere right so that's where you have to use the function and then you have to provide a variable okay in this variable the value will be stored so something like text okay this is the variable and uh, the whatever value comes here it will be fetched into a text variable now let's print console.log um, text so it should print not a friendly topic okay so let's run it i hope you guys have uh, configured this run or you can you go to cmd where the conf file is present and you can say protractor 
space conf.ts or js sorry conf.js most of mostly okay and the browser got opened and it closed i am not sure why okay so are you guys able to guess what happened here no can i explain yeah so this is the thing happens when you are running a ts files so i have opened this uh, id after a long time so what happens is like in the background whenever we change something we must compile it so what's the command for it in protractor or in a typescript it is tsc iphone w okay tsc is for compilation iphone w is like incremental compilation something like in future if you change something it should be compiled without even again running the compilation commands so run tsc iphone w tsc is not recognized that is bad so sad let me try okay i guess uh, i have not installed the typescript or the typescript went missing so let me clear the screen and now install npm install typescript okay this is the command to install the typescript but it will not take a uh, much time just a moment it will go okay and one more thing guys if you are expecting a perfect video like everything in one shot you should be able to explain then please do not watch these videos because i am kind of boring and i'll be doing all the experiments and wasting your time okay so that got installed and i'm going to run it again tsc iphone w mm -hmm. so what's happening let me install it in globally it shouldn't be happening now yeah so after installing global i was able to run it okay so it started in compilation mode now yeah it got some errors it's okay because it's coming from some other file uh, you do not have to worry much about it okay let's close it now anyway it's in the background it will be running now let's run this one so when it's blue it's a static and when it turns uh, orange it means like it started running opens web page tada it closed i don't know why didn't it run or so whenever you face like this one just go to that uh, js file okay we have ts file here and js file present under my js file location so let me see what's going on here see it didn't get updated so because of which we were not able to proceed okay oops it was in a different file okay sorry i have given a wrong file path i guess it's a js files location spec google okay let's go to conf file somewhere conf file must be present so here we have a conf file and in the conf file what we have given so inside this one we have given right so let's remove it and Let's remove the POM Churcher tech. Okay, so now I have set uh, to the right path, I guess. So this is the one we want to run. It says like D slash protractor demo slash JS files locations slash spec Google test. Okay, so this is the one we want to execute. Now let's run it and go to this debug tab and run. open the browser it opens a frame example in selenium now it should close yeah it got closed now execution is stopped let's see the console 
see here we are able to see the not a friendly topic right so this is the same as this one if i'm not wrong and i hope you guys will accept it okay now let's try to find this particular checkbox okay so we have ideas a so let's see like anything has like input input slash a we don't have any sorry input uh, is we have and uh, we have id right so at id equal to a so we have it here okay now let's copy this by mistake i cut it anyways copy or cut it will work okay so let's write one more element of by dot xpath so here it is a checkbox right let's click it and see whether uh, our code is able to find it or not for this purpose i'll reduce it to uh, 10 seconds because i don't want you guys to wait for 30 seconds so let's run so it started running <coughs> when the bottom tab turns to orange uh, it's, it means like program is running ten seconds right it will wait for ten seconds I'll ignore about this it's not a big deal It says like no element found using a particular locator. Okay. So after 10 seconds, we got this one. But why? Because this particular checkbox is not present in the page level, but we are trying to find it in the page level because of which we are not able to get it. Okay. Now, what I want to do it in the next step is like I want to get this particular text and i want to input it into this particular topic okay this is the level one okay this is the level one means page this is in the page level and this is in the frame one okay now let's try to set some value in this particular uh, input box the value would be like this not a friendly topic okay so what i would do is i have to find this frame first okay right click and inspect so just you need to inspect the entire thing okay so here we have iframe and ideas iframe one so let's find it using control f double slash i frame and id is at id equal to iframe one it didn't work then maybe it's a frame one yeah so here we have a frame so how will you see like this is the one which has the text bar and the topic you can uh, see the inner contents by expanding this one okay see here i can see it a uh, topic and then where was it it was somewhere okay <clears throat> so you might see all the values and another checkbox okay so here we have our topic and then we have an input box so we have our locator let's use it okay so as of now i'll comment this one so inside this one i'm trying to find the another frame and i'm trying to set a value in a text bar so for that purpose before writing anything i'll set browser dot sleep for five seconds so if you ask like why you are using a browser dot sleep it's just for the uh, to show that we are able to set the value in that particular field okay because in automation it closes uh, faster right so that i cannot show it in a video that's why i'm adding the sleep so let's write element of by dot uh, x path okay so we are trying to find a frame okay now 
we can store this one in a variable using a let something like f1 we can say or frame one if you want to say or any variable name you can say okay so here we are trying to find the frame but we have not found the frame yet because this particular command will not tell the protractor to perform the finding operation okay so what you have to do is you have to perform some operations like dot click or dot send case then only it will try to find and it will perform the operations but we do not have fire clicking or a setting value here right but only thing what we have is like we want to find it so what command we can use is get web element so this is the command which will be fired uh, on the browser and it will try to find the uh, element okay if you don't use this one then frames will not work please do remember guys if you don't use this particular dot get web element then you cannot do anything with the frames okay so now we have to switch to the frame so protractor provides a command called a switch to so which is present in browser dot switch to okay so basically this is also a method so how i am able to say when suggestion is like this one how i am able to say it's a method because here it shows like it's a method so whenever it says a method you have to add these two what do you call that parenthesis braces sorry braces you have to add braces and then you have to perform the remaining operation so here i am trying to navigate into a frame not into alert not into default content not into window okay go to a frame and it also says like it's a method in here you can see it's a method right so again add the braces dot so before using the dot so this is how it will okay but what we have to pass here we have to pass a web element into the frame okay uh, the major difference between uh, selenium frames and uh, protractor frames is like in selenium you can use like frames with ids and frames with names and frames with the element but in protractor you can use only frames with element okay so here we have found the web element right so we have to use web element only not with ids not with uh, names okay but in this finding this particular frame you can use it that particular idea or name but end of the thing you have to use this particular command to get the total frame as a web element so where i want to switch is f1 okay so i want to switch to f1 and then i want to perform operation okay what operation i want to set the value here so which is which has input okay i hope there is only one text bar so we can use that input directly okay so element by dot so we, as i said it's only one element is there so which is the better locator id tag name xpath css which one so it's a tag name well, you can use anything it doesn't mean anything actually end of the day everything is a xpath or css okay and there are only two locators actually present in protractor and selenium which are css and xpath okay you may think like people may say like eight protractor has 16 that's a bullshit the only thing is everything end of the day will be converted into css and xpath if you see the internal code structure it will be most of the time if you don't use a css it will be converted into xpath okay so people might say like id is faster xpath is slower that's a thing they have but end of the day most of the things are xpath only or css so now what we want to say is we have to set the value what value whatever value we received in the form of text here right so i want to set that particular value into that field okay what i am expecting is it should go somewhere here and it should say like not friendly topic something like this right uh, ignore about the short names <clears throat> so now let's run it before this one do you think do we need to compile it again yes you are right 
we don't have to because we have given an option called iphone w which will be watching the changes whatever we are making so far so it's already been converted into the js files so let's run it and sometimes you might have a delay in compilation when you have a huge project just be careful of it so when compilation delay happens like it may take like five or six seconds extra so execution started it typed not a friendly topic here right that's cool so the same text it got there also right i hope you guys were able to see it okay if not in further videos also we will be doing it so i will make it to 9 seconds okay so now we are able to set this values right so again think now i thought like i want to get this particular title or this particular text frames example in selenium web driver this particular text i want so what i can do is i can inspect it and h1 right so let's try to find any h1 is there so there is no other h1 mm, let's make it a six path see we have only one h1 right so we can use tag name so let's try to get the value there okay uh, element of by dot uh, tag name h1 okay now again i want to get the text get text because we are trying to retrieve the text right so then block and then function okay so we can i say it's something like header because it was a big font console dot log let's log this particular header header is header okay so i'm trying to find print this one so let's run it now what should happen is like it should open the browser and it should open this url and then it should find the it should get the value from that uh, label which says like not a friendly topic and then it should switch to a frame one and then it should set the value into that input text bar okay and then it will try to find this one and then nine seconds of sleep let's see what happens opens set the value and it's waiting why it is waiting nine seconds of sleep do you think so it's because of nine seconds of sleep maybe or may not be but we got an error here so what's the error it says like no element found using locator by css selector comma h1 why why we are not able to find the h1 here we are able to see the h1 frame right frame examples in selenium web driver see here we are writing the right x path okay just i have used tag name but why we are not able to find it are you able to guess it why sometime back i explained like how we are switching into this particular frame okay consider so i have told about switching into that particular frame so i'll give you an example in uh, uh, everyday life okay let's consider consider you have a, a big uh, hall and four rooms okay you have uh, one hall and four rooms and consider like yourself have gone into a one room okay and you have locked yourself inside that room and do you think you can access the hall without unlocking that particular room just think now coming into the frames the hall is nothing but uh, your page and the room is nothing but your frame now you have gone into a frame basically into a room 
and you locked yourself and unless you come unlock and come out you cannot okay, what you call you cannot uh, reach anything inside the hall which means like in the page level so whenever you switch into a frame then you cannot access the page level so to access the page level again you have to switch back to the page or you have to un switch or what you call that switch back into the switch back from the frame okay so what i mean is like once you go into a frame and you have to come out of the frame to access the remaining okay so that is important thing so i'll uh, explain how okay so after this send case we want to go back into the page level okay because the h1 is present in the page level not in the frame level okay this is the frame level and this is page level here okay so we have to switch back so when we want to go to the page level the easiest way to switch into the page level is using browser dot switch to dot default content default content is this nothing but your default html page which is nothing but your page level okay the moment we use this command it comes back to the page now do you think will we be able to access this text bar now once we switch back uh, into the page level do you think think can we access the elements or things present inside the room when you are in the hall and the room is locked will you able to do it anything like that no right similarly you cannot access anything present in the frame once you switch back from the frame okay so now let's run it should try to print this header and after that it should take 9 seconds of sleep the sleep is just uh, for a moment sake like you guys should know that oh, the value is filled there okay so some guys asked like can you post the same code uh, in the web page as seen in your uh, uh, video okay so it entered the value so 9 seconds it will slip so i cannot actually post uh, video I cannot host the same code uh, in video on the web page you know why because uh, the text is already been written like a uh, months back and now i am creating a videos so there will be a delay in uh, process so and while creating the video i cannot entirely follow like uh, the web page so because of which you might feel like uh, little changes in the video and in the code in the web page okay so please do bear with it and uh, try some other code with your own now let's go to the console let's see so the friendly topic is printed and the header is frames examples in selenium driver so this is the same thing right yep so what we have learned is so far iframe versus frame and how to switch into a frame and how to identify a frame and how to switch out of the frames okay so now so uh, so far we have switched to this topic frame but i want let's switch into a um, inner frame checkbox let's check this checkbox okay but before that let's get this value and set it here and then check the checkbox okay so that would be a better one so what we have here is like we are printing and we are switching into first frame so as i said explained uh, in the starting this inner iframe checkbox is present in another frame right now of so let's not switch to a default content because let's remove the default content here or something like yeah let's remove it it's not required anymore now <clears throat> once we set the value again we have to switch into the inner frame because the checkbox is present in the frame level 2 let's, let's see it uh, like whether where it is present this is the checkbox right now let's go a little up see here the document starts and this is the frame and the frame 3 which is present inside the frame 1 uh, the highlight in the web page you can see it right okay this is the frame 
one and this is frame three okay now we have to switch to frame three so it is similar to this one so let me copy it because i don't want to waste your time so again the same thing but this time it's a f3 and it's a frame 3 remaining is same because uh, uh, i have used very simple code there okay now i have to switch to frame 3 and then what i have to do is i have to click the checkbox so how will you find an element element by dot let's use something xpath or tag name let's go with tag name because i know it's we can it's better to use a tag name so uh, no locator but click it okay now let's go and find the locator for this checkbox so it says input and id is here so xpath would be double slash input and at id equal to a okay so we are able to find the xpath you can see the yellow right so which means we are able to find it but here we are trying to find with the tag name but let's change it to xpath and paste the value now we should click and it should wait for nine seconds okay i hope you guys are okay with nine seconds of wasting your time so let's run it this is pretty lengthy video i guess it's already been some time now let's go here okay it navigated here entered the value it was able to check the box right nine seconds of sleep now let's go to the console so we have a zero failures which means everything passed okay so we are able to switch into this frame now consider like i want to enter value here okay so uh, sometime back i was explaining that uh, we are switching back to a default value and then we are getting the values right so let's do that one but before that let me copy these particular lines of code because i am going to press ctrl z that yeah so here we have the value right so so let me arrange it so are you able to understand a little bit so let me explain So this is the first block where I am trying to print the values. Okay, the first thing we have seen like not friendly thing, right? That one. And then I am trying to switch to frame one and I am setting the value. Okay. This value here I am going to set something. And then I am switching back into this inside frame and I am checking the box. And after that, okay, in the second one we are clicking it. And after that we are going back to a default content. Default content always takes back you to the page level just remember default content takes back to you backs back to the page level okay now it should print the value so everything should go all right now let's execute it So opening the page and it's entering the value check the box wait for nine seconds i guess uh, it will be over now yeah let's go to the console see what happens so it's the same result okay it says like not friendly topic and the checkbox was clicked actually you right, have seen and the frame examples in the selenium were probably got printed which means like we went here and we checked it and we came back here and we printed this value but 
sometimes what happens is like you might not want to go back to your page level but you want to go back to a previous frame level what i mean is like after entering this value here you went back you went into another frame which is nothing but uh, the checkbox frame so here here you have check check the box but uh, somehow you feel like let's go one frame level up that means go to this level and do some changes okay and after that you go back to the page level right so what happened in this example is like after a clicking on the checkbox it went directly into the page level default content takes you to the page level not to the frame level it exits all the frames okay from the all from the all frames okay now if you want to go back to this one we have another command in protractor called parent frame okay so let's use it here saying that uh, browser dot switch to okay dot frame we have but we don't have a parent frame so this is one of the slight modification uh, protractor so where this parent frame method is present okay it is present in the browser level itself after browser here you try to find switch to you can see one more command here saying that switch to parent frame but uh, in terms of selenium it will be present something like browser dot switch to dot parent frame but here it will be direct method okay now i switched back to a parent frame so for this checkbox which one is the parent frame this topic text bar is the parent frame and for this topic text bar which is the parent frame so it will be the page level so ultimately if you use so many uh, uh, parent frames at end of the parent frames you will be reaching a page level okay so but sometimes if you are in a 10 level deep of uh, frames something like you are in a 10th level but you just want to exit all of the frames so that moment you will be using default content method and remaining wise you can use parent frame okay that will work fine <coughs> okay now let's see whether we want let's uh, enter some other value here so he, this is the uh, same the same text bar i am trying to find okay but this time with different value for a moment sake like can i say my name Karthik. okay i hope you guys won't mind writing my name here okay let's run i should set Karthik there okay but uh, before that let's stop the execution so it sets basically it appends the Karthik uh, let's not append it let's clear the field and then set the value to Karthik okay so what is something like clear method so, okay it should be able to enter the value and then click and then it should set the value but before that i'll be giving a bit of gap say for a moment say click say four seconds of sleep okay here also i'll remove into four seconds because i don't want to waste your time <coughs> so it should clear the field and then it should set to karthik okay so if i don't use clear then it will append the karthik into the existing text so let's run I started running opens the web page mm -mm. we got some issue what's the issue oh switch to parent frame is not a function that's not a good thing What's a property? Okay, let me uh, give me a moment. Like, uh, let me see what's the command for parent frame. Okay, it's a parent frame only. 
but I am not able to go back. Let me see parent from parent. Uh, we should be able to go. Okay, let's write it in uh, property value, like a property, and let's execute and let's debug it. If I am wrong, then we will learn something. If I am right, then we just end up with uh, learning a parent frame. Okay, it's opening the browser. I guess so. It will go back now. Okay, it entered the value. Checkbox. Four seconds sleep. Mm -hmm. Element must be must be user readable in order to clear it. So what happens? So I guess still uh, <coughs> it's in a click level, but we don't want it. Switch to dot. frame dot parent mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see what this description says about the switch to parent frame okay so but uh, using this parent frame uh, parameter we can uh, sorry property we can switch back to a one a level up okay so now we have learned a little bit of things okay so uh, let me ask you one simple question before ending this video so we are editing this checkbox okay now how will you set a value in this frame the animals frame here how will you set value because currently we if you are in here how will you set uh the cat or something like avatar okay animals as avatar okay how will you set it so think about this particular thing and do comment it up below okay how will you handle this one so the situation is you are inside this inner frame checkbox okay and now you want to set the value in the animals drop down okay so from here to here how will you travel okay that is the question for this particular video and leave an answer below so uh, that's all guys about the frames and uh, if you have any questions or if you want me to create any other videos please do uh, comment so that I can create it or you can drop an email you can find it uh, find the email in this website and the frames tutorial is present in this particular URL which is tech slash protractor slash frames hyphen protractor okay if you go to this site you can find the frames tutorial and along with this video i will post this video also here okay so with all that uh, we will meet in the next video guys bye